What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andre and today I'm going to be doing an update on LCID stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. I also will show you how we caught this movement to the downside. Basically, we could catch uh, the movements either way. And uh, this is the uh, perfect example of uh, option trading strategy, proper option trading strategy. And uh, then I will continue with the fundamental news. I will show you why this asset uh, lost uh, about 17% of its value right after the green earnings report, as you can see. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here. At this point, uh, when this asset uh, was at uh, roughly $9.9 .9 uh, mark, and uh, we were right before their earnings report, the uh, disclosure of uh, their earnings report for Q4 and full year 2022. And uh, right here, I've told you that we are in the middle of nowhere because we had uh, this uh, range of support right here in between $8.2 and $8.4, and range of resistance say, right here at uh, $13.2. And right here we had the perfect opportunity to enter the option uh, position, option strategy like uh, inverse uh, iron condor or inverse iron butterfly that allows us uh, to uh, have uh, a profit if this asset go upside or downside uh, for the double digit movements. And uh, this uh, movement happened, as you can see, it lost about 17.7% .7 and uh, this brings us uh, quite uh, decent profits. So, and uh, what should we expect next, I will show you in my technical analysis, but for now let's continue with the fundamental news. So, definitely their main news is the earnings report. As you can see, they uh, beat uh, expectations uh, on uh, earnings, uh, they have about uh, 0.27 dollars uh, losses uh, on share compared to 0.41 dollars uh, estimated and uh, they uh miss on revenue, they reported $257.713 million instead of $302.6 million. So, uh, it is not uh, the best earnings report and uh, let me show you this article. Uh, lucid revenue falls short of estimates as it guides uh, to higher EV production in 2023. And let me quote to these bullets. Electric vehicle maker Lucid on Wednesday reported fourth quarter revenue that fell short of expectations. It built just 7,000 uh, of uh, its air luxury sedans last year amid manufacturing challenges, uh, but expects to make between 10 and 14,000 uh, uh, vehicles in 2023. The company ended uh, the year with about $4.4 billion in cash and roughly $500 million uh, available via lines of credit, enough uh, to last until the first quarter of 2024, Chief Financial Officer Cherry House told CNBC. And let me show you their earnings report uh, on their investors section on their website. And uh, let me quote you these bullets. Uh, first of all, they produced uh, 3,493 vehicles in Q4, up 53% uh, sequentially. So, by itself it is a very good number, but uh, we have to know why they have a lot of vehicles, uh, more than half of these vehicles, that uh, are stored right now on their parking lots. Next one, 7,180 vehicles produced in 2022, exceeding annual production guidance of 6 uh, to 7,000 vehicles. And in general, it is also a good uh, statement, but we have to remember that they uh, reduce these uh, targets twice during 2022. Previously, they stated that uh, they want to produce uh, last year more than 20,000 vehicles, then it becomes uh, about uh, 12,000 vehicles and uh, the last time they reduced uh, to 6 to 7,000 vehicles and uh, they increased this number. And they have to say that uh, they produced almost half of these vehicles, as you can see, only in Q4. This means, in general, they have a quite good uh, ramp up uh, in their production rates. So, Q4 revenue of over $257 million and annual revenue of over $608 million. So, also quite good numbers, uh, but as I already mentioned, they missed uh, their earnings, uh, their revenue 
by 44.9 million dollars. Next one, ended quarter with approximately 4.9 billion dollars uh, total liquidity. And they stated uh, that they have enough uh, liquidity until the uh, 2024. This means they have uh, to again collect uh, some money, to raise some money uh, by the end of this year. And in my opinion, in Q3 or probably even in Q2, they will disclose the information about the next uh, potential stock offering. And uh, this will dilute the existing shareholders and uh, we have to be prepared for this. So, and uh, let me show you another bullet. Uh, 2023 production guidance of uh, 10,000 to 14,000 vehicles. So, I have to say that it is uh, quite a cautious uh, forecast uh, because uh, previously Peter Rollinson said that they don't have uh, basically the ceiling in their production rates. But uh, on the earnings call, he told uh, to the audience that uh, uh, they have uh, the bottleneck uh, with some of uh, the suppliers. And this means uh, uh, this quite uh, cautious uh, forecast might be achievable, but uh, it is not the best number overall and it is not the best pace of growth. So, and let me show you another quite uh, bearish uh, statement that was disclosed uh, on the Q&A session. And let me quote to this. Maynard Alm said, I do want to take questions from our retail investors, send them through Say Technologies uh, platform. And the first question is, is the Saudi PIF taking Lucid private? And it is uh, the main question that we all have to know. And Sherry House answered, it's a policy. Lucid does not comment on market rumors. And so we don't uh, have anything to say specific to this question. What uh, we said in our prepared remarks is that PIF has shown a commitment to Lucid having provided $3.6 billion since 2018 and including $915 million through its uh, participation from the subscription agreement just in Q4 2022. PIF has not only been a, a committed uh, investor, but also a strong strategic partner and we are very grateful for the partnership. In other words, they want to say that uh, uh, probably it was the rumors, but uh, as I stated in one of my previous videos, if uh, this type of uh, rumors uh, uh, might uh, leak to the market, to the broader audience, uh, all of the negotiations might be terminated. And uh, probably we have option two, and uh, at least uh, for now, for the upcoming year or two, we will not see the Saudi Arabian fund uh, that will uh, take a lucid private. And uh, it is not the best news uh, for the community because uh, uh, the rumors was that they will uh, pay a lot of uh, premium uh, to the current price. And uh, this was uh, the main reason why this asset uh, spike uh, right here uh, for more than 100% in a matter of just one session. And uh, definitely because of this uh, right now we are exactly at the uh, range where we were previously. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, what should we expect next? As I mentioned in my previous video and the video before my previous video right here, uh, we have to hit uh, this uh, lower range of support and from this range we might have a bounce. And this bounce happened, as you can see, uh, for those of you who follow my channel for quite some time and who entered your long position uh, at this point, you might be up depending on your entry price for about 5%. And uh, it is not the best uh, movement to the upside, but I have to say that uh, this uh, tiny spike with this increase in volume that was uh, uh, a bit higher than we had previously might be the beginning of uh, a new leg to the upside that will bring another 5 or 10% of potential profit. And this means if you haven't entered your position right here, you can uh, do it uh, at this very point, but you should put your stop loss uh, at this uh, previous uh, bottom and it is uh, it's about 7.58% uh, of downside potential. And the upside potential for this movement, if I pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from this uh, swing high to this swing low, we might have about uh, $9.31 uh, uh, price point uh, as our next potential target. As you can see, right now we hit exactly the uh, 0.236 Fibonacci retracement level and uh, we have uh, this uh, pullback. But in best case scenario, we might hit even $10 mark and it is the confluence in between the golden pocket range of uh, this tool statistically the most probable range of trend reversal, this price action that also has quite good range of support and resistance, and uh, the round number of $10 mark. 
And from this point, uh, we might have uh, up to 15% uh, uh, of potential profit with about 7% of potential losses. So, 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio is quite too risky. That's why you have to decide uh, whether or not uh, this uh, trade is worth your attention. So, I think from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap, only got